Morning, Andoni. Welcome back after Morning. the international break. I know a number of players went off on international duty, so you had very few left here in the building. But were you able to use this 10 days or so to, to change something, to put something different into the team, to work on things, to bring them together? Yes, when you have this kind of, of stop of time to work with some players, to analyse a little bit better the, the games we played, uh, you have to use the time you have to to try to improve things, uh, especially the last two games we were not happy with our performances and we try to to change some things, to improve things. It's true that uh, we, we haven't had a lot of the players until yesterday or even uh, three of them will, will uh, train today for the, for the first time after their international break, but uh, it was a good time, especially for some uh, injury players we also had that I think they will be able to help us from now on and uh, uh, good sessions, yeah. In terms of players coming back from international duty and those that you have in the building, what's the latest with regards to injuries? Uh, I think from the past, the previous game against Everton, we recover uh, Chris Mepham, that you, you, you know that he played with the national team. I think uh, Lloyd Kelly has been training also, uh, last trainings with the with with the group, so he's he's doing well, and uh, we also have uh, the the last one to to train with the group that is Alex Scott. That is a good sign. He's he's doing well. He's feeling well, and uh, that's I think it's it's all. Yeah. Obviously, positive news that, that Alex is training with with the group. I'm presuming that this weekend will come too soon, but the fact that he's out on the on the on the grass in training is a big significant step forward. Yes, of course. I think he uh, he has been willing to push since the beginning, since he came here. He already, when he came here, he knew that he was going to be out for some time, but he has been pushing. And now it's good to see him outside running with the with the with the rest. He has very good feelings, so it's it's very good good news for Olia. That's some positive news. Unfortunately, there's some, some bad news with regards to Tyler Adams, who's had surgery and will be out for a prolonged period of time. Can you just bring us up to date on how long he'll be out and how big a blow this is, is particularly for him psychologically, because he had that game in the cup, but then immediately has to, to drop out? Yeah, I think it was one of the options. I think uh, when we talked two weeks ago, it was one of the options that uh, after his feelings, when he played the cup game, uh, I think he, he had to solve once and forever these these problems and he has had surgery, he will be out, I don't know how much, I would say four months, something like this, three or four months, uh, depending on how he evolves. But uh, I think from the previous injury, for, uh, previous surgery, he wasn't feeling well in any moment. He was improving, he, then he had setback, improving again, setback. So. Probably some th something didn't go uh, very well in the in the surgery, and and they had to 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 have it again. In terms of the, the lads, we know that it hasn't been the, the the most positive start you you would have wanted with regards to picking up three points. There've been good elements of performances. Have you had to work with them psychologically? Have you had to do some team building? Have you had to try and pick them up and bring them together, and just unite that group? to get behind your philosophy and the things that you're trying to do? Yes, of course, when, when uh, results are not going on your side, uh, you, ho you have to work on this, on this side also for, for the players. We have an, an advantage, I think, that uh, most of the players have been here, have been in this spot past season and they've done well and they've uh, achieved their goal and they've had good performances and they know what it takes to turn things around, but it's true that we have to be, uh, it has to be now, because it gets more difficult as, as the time goes, it gets more difficult to, to take the, the points from the, 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 the teams that they are ahead of us. Based, based on what you're saying there, these next two games, could they be defining for the club season and perhaps you personally? Uh, I think uh, they are going to be key for us, also, obviously. We were waiting uh, uh, probably is the, the first games. I'm not even sure, but uh, where we were favourites, apart from the cup games or 
I don't know, maybe I, we are not. I don't know. We have to check the, the, the bets. But it's true that we are now under pressure. We know this. But it's, it's, it's part of the game and, and we have to, to answer when, when you are under pressure. Yeah. And up next, Wolves. I know the fans will immediately look to Gary O'Neill, the former manager who, who did so well to keep Bournemouth in the Premier League. How does this game sit with you? How do you approach it when you've got someone in the opposing dugout who will know the group, know some of the players, know the club inside out because of his previous role here? But of course, there has been a lot of changes. How do you see this game planning out tactically? Yes, I think it's probably a more question from for him. I think Gary did, we, we all agree, was a successful season, past season. He's also doing well in, in Wolves and for sure he knows our players, uh, strengths, the weaknesses. Uh, also part of our staff will know some, the, 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 some of their tactics. So you never know uh, what's the advantage or not. But at the end, the importance of the game, especially for us, uh, for sure it will be special for him, the before and the after the game, because I've had the previous experience when I was playing against uh, Rayo, against Atleti, against Mirandes, you know, it's something special. But once the game starts, you are focused on the on the sports side and, and you forgot everything else. Thank you. Thank you. And only good to see you. Um, I guess my first question will be then, have you asked some of your players all they know about Gary O'Neill and what you can expect then from his Wolves side? A little, a little more insight into Wolves ahead of this weekend. Yeah, every time this happens, uh, you never know because he knows perfectly our players. Some of the players know perfectly the things that he focuses more on. But I think whenever you change teams, you have to change also tactics. You have different strengths, different weaknesses, different players that are making the difference. So uh, a lot of things change and we cannot take too many, too many conclusions. Before the international break, they beat Manchester City, drew with Aston Villa. The break probably didn't come at the ideal time for them and for Gary O'Neill's side. Um, how much are you looking at the threats they have? Pedro Neto, Cunha, He Chan, just the kind of players that you're going to have to come up against this weekend. Yeah, you, you analyse them very well now, especially I think uh, Pedro Neto right now is he's flying. He's, he's a very good one on one, very fast. He's giving the assist, being very, very dangerous. He's performing really well. Uh, Juan with the goals. Cunha is an amazing player. I know him from La Liga. He's very good. Just not, he doesn't stay up front, just comes to the safe turns. He's very good also in one-on-ones. Very good counter-attacking team because they have the pace up front with these players. So we have to be aware for a lot of things, yeah. You've touched on your difficult testing start <coughs> to the season, Tottenham, Liverpool, Arsenal, Chelsea, just some of the sides you've played in the opening few months. How much have you learnt about your group? A lot. You learn every week. You learn uh, good things, bad things. You, 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 you learn a lot, especially uh, mostly because we, we've had defeats no? and, and, and you learn from there uh, a lot. But. Uh, uh, we talked about it. The competition doesn't wait for anyone, so uh, we can, we have to improve fast, and we cannot make the mistakes we've made, especially the uh, last two games. And uh, we have to be much, much better, much more solid, much more uh, defensively. Especially, we cannot give uh, as many facilities. Ten days to reflect. A good thing. A difficult thing? Do you enjoy that opportunity to finally catch a breath, to sit down and to look it at what... It is what it is. Normally we like to play games. I like to play. I like to prepare for the games. Uh, it's true that uh, you always want to win the last game before the break because you have normally two weeks like with a better mood, but we didn't play well, we didn't perform, we lost 3-0 against Everton. So it has been a difficult two weeks, but uh, it was a good time to, to, to improve things here. You'll be desperate for your first three points of the season, but to try and get it here, to give the home fans something to, I guess, deliver us something to build your season off, that is important. Yeah, hugely important. I think uh, we have to... Uh, everything starts from what we show on the pitch, you know. Uh, we have to show this, this hunger, this... We have to make them like what they are watching, no? and uh, it's true that we start well the game and everyone 
uh, keeps the, the 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 intensity and we we build a good good momentum like we did in some of the previous previous games when we played here. Finally, for me, you were brought to the football club to bring attacking front foot football. Is it important you continue to reinforce those messages ahead of what looks, as you've already touched on, such an important fortnight of games? Yeah, I think uh, we have very clear how we want to play. The thing is, we have to perform better. We have to, especially defensively, we have to be more solid. We, we, whenever we are lower, we we cannot uh, allow to 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 receive the the goals we are we are receiving, and uh, especially when things are not going your way, this these basics you cannot you cannot miss. You cannot miss. You have to uh, gain your confidence doing the basics. Communication has to be key, togetherness on the pitch, and that's what we're going to try to do tomorrow.